much. And the subject, uh, I think that because for me it's important that the competitor uh, stay in a positive shape during the performance, but don't forget that, uh, especially for the men, that introduce the arms around to the lady for to lead the lady in the dancing. Don't to be uh, fixed in mechanical way, especially the forward arms, help to the hands, permit and to follow the lady to be flexible with her spine. Please welcome and give a big applause, Michele Bonsignori. Thank you, Aziz. Thank you. Thank you, Aziz. Thank you to Rao for inviting me one more time in this uh, wonderful training camp. So, uh, I would like to continue uh, in this lecture to talk about one uh, dance that is different about the swing as a tango. So, and uh, I decide to repeat uh, some information maybe that I used in the past and I receive from my teachers. Uh, one thing that in general, in generally we use in all dances is uh, we talk about that the common center, the connection, the two bodies, how to put the arms in position and the forward arms. Because it's important don't confuse that we have three parts in the arms, the hands, the forearms, and the arms. Sometimes when I see the competition, uh, I saw during the competition the couple to dance the rotation to the left or to the right, but especially to the left, the men start in correct position with the arms and forearms, but during one left rotation, sometimes I saw that one arms move in one direction and one arms move in another one direction. This is not possible. Why? Because we have a person in front of us that we create the couples, and uh, especially the man that invited the lady to dance, with the legs, with the body, with the arms, and with the hands, create one shape in balance for to invite the lady to dance. So, and this is important, the man decide in relation to the choreography that started to dance to introduce his balance in the right standing leg and create the shape to the right standing leg or to the left. But the sense, the logical, is if I decide to stay in my standing leg, I try to recover the moving legs under the center for to check the maximum long spine. Uh, in natural way, we try to turn the arms and the shoulders and press the shoulders down. So after, we close the forward arms in relation to the ladies. And the forward arms, because the lady is in front to us, a little bit to the right, the left forward arms and the right forward arms follow the lady direction. It's not possible, especially the left arms stay alone and not in relation to the ladies. This is so important. So, and we, we started to talk about the arms during the movement in all dances, but especially in the tongue. And the second point, I wanted to remember to everybody that when we, have, we dance, we have a three resistance in every group steps, in every steps, like when we walk in. So we have one standing leg that produces the pressure resistance on the floor, the moving leg before to move is a create under the center the coordination and a little bit pressure under the center. And the body creates a little bit CBM in progressive movement forward or backwards. I, um, I don't know, I don't think that uh, somebody go to do the shopping in this way. So we create in step by step the CBM and the three resistance, the standing leg, the moving leg, and the center change. And create the pressure for to go forward or to go backwards. When we dance, we have a person in front to us, and we create, in the swing dance, we create the swing progressive movement backwards or forward. And the situation started to be a little bit more complicated. The pressure is more double than when you're walking. The moving legs preparation is more double, like you go when you go to do the shopping. And the connection, the two bodies, 
One person dance forward, and the same moment, the lady dance backwards. We create a resistance. The lady dance backwards, free, but press a little bit in front of the man. So it is so important during the dance to control the arms in relation to the lady uh, position and movement and produce the three resistance. Without the three resistance, it's uh, difficult to create a free movement and power movement in the swing dance or into the tango. That completely different characteristic, but I, I never I saw one couple dance tango in the opposite arm position and in connection with the ladies. So, this is uh, one of the, it's the second time that I do the lecture alone. Normally I stay with my wife, Monica, and this time I invite one couple to show to you what I wanted to transmit in, the, in my lecture. And I would like to call, to close me, and one couple, amateur couple, one of the top couples, and Alex Glukov and Anastasia Glazunova, please come. So, please. I would like, before to move in the tango, that they dance 18 basic steps in the world, and I don't want that they exaggerate what I explain. I want that they dance in normal way, because for me, they have inside them uh, uh, practice and natural performance this uh, system. They are in connection, they use the three resistance, standing leg, moving leg, and CBM in progressive movement. And they are big position in a couple, but if you look, the Alex for arms is a completely in relation to the ladies. It's not a natural turn in this way. All left rotation, so in this way, the helper to the helper, he stays in correct position. And he moves the forearm in relation to the movement that invites the lady or where she stays. If she stays in connection with my right side in the balance and she has this shape, my forearms stay in relation to the lady and not in a Robocop position. So please, a little bit warm up in the world's basic steps. On the floor. So when, uh, for example, uh, you at the moment when they dance, I, I explain something. They dance, you are a judge. So and I explain to you that I don't want to see the man that stay robotic position, that dance progressive forward swing, right rotation, and create opposite division about the arms. My forearms follow the ladies. So when they keep the position and they stay, stay still on the spot, they create the angle of the body, personality angle and balance. They connect, they produce the common center. So in this case, the ladies is in front of the man on the man's right side. And the lady's spine shape create the curve in this direction. It's logical that the man forearms is exactly parallel and follow the lady's spine. And the other forearms support the ladies in the movement. When they create the preparation for to start, and four, five, stop. So it's logical, okay, you can relax, but it's visible that the side step is the step that including in the choreography. They move. They created the rotation to the left, and when the body created the CBM and stretch, 
they improved the position and the man for arms permitted to the lady to create the best shape. Now I use too much for to show. So, one more time, only the preparation. So the forearms stay in relation to the lady's spine. When Alex dance, step to side, second step to side, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, stop. So I think that is a lot visible. The position is a clear, about shoulders line, elbow to elbow, vertical line, but the man forearms follow the lady's spine. Because the man invited the lady to dance, the lady must be free in the swing that the man produce, and the lady's spine must be free, and the man forearms support the lady. If we do this in more difficult, so the, the, um, the point is so easy, it's not complicated. Start to be complicated if we introduce complicated choreography. I don't know, uh, one group step in the world that you dance left rotation. Because to the right is not so complicated, it's a natural rotation. It's not so complicated to do CBM, to pass the lady with the body and the legs, but to leave the forearms to the right. When we dance to the left, the situation is a little bit complicated, especially in tango because the music is in more speed. But now we stay another one minute into the waltz. When we dance to the left, we use the pressure, one resistance, moving legs, resistance, center, body, resistance, and we introduce the swing for go to the left. The progressive movement, left rotation, but the lady continue to stay here. And my forearms continue to lead the ladies. When we dance double over spin over spin, that is more dynamic, sometimes the couple miss this easy information. And say the lock, double over spin over spin pivot, double over spin over spin pivot, and change direction. And the tension that we have in this group step invites the man, if you don't study, you don't control your body, to open the arms big, but you are not anymore in relation to the lady bodies. And the lady started to, to talk. You push me, you stress me, you, you, you don't permit to me the heel turn, blah, 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 blah. The man started to feel the lady in negative way. You are heavy, shut up and start again. So during the double spin of a spin is a left rotation, progressive swing movement, one, two. So now I continue to create the swing for to follow the lady's spine over there. And not one, two. Is a helper to the shoulders stay in my position. The helper to the hands follow the lady's spine. Can you dance one left group step in your choreography? It's a little bit more difficult than the basic steps. One more time, in this uh, Alex from here to the other side. Okay, so it's not only the man uh, using the correct way the arms, but it's also the lady that dance to the left, but don't follow the rotation inside immediately. Because if I am a lady, after one step, I follow quickly the rotation and I don't produce from my balance backwards movement, 
from a vertical line, I continue to move in this direction, it's no sense that the man move their forearms to the right. If the man and the lady follow one concept together, what we can see? How the couple start in position, they finish. But in the still position, everybody are good shape. It's difficult to remind in the swing to the left. This is so difficult. So if we change the dance and we go in the speed dance like a tango, that for me, one big different characteristic in tango is the speed, the music change is more speed, and we have more rotation inside the couple and on the spot. So for example, the basic steps, when the couple are in connection position, the legs are a little bit more uh, in rotation than the normal, especially when the man and the lady produce the movement for to start. We have the rotation under the center, the rotation outside the couples. Swing dance, waltz. We turn to the left and we turn to the right, but in progressive way. In tango, so we turn on the spot and not a priority in progressive. About this is so important when the couple dance, fall in reverse, slip, pivot, and five step. Is the same if we talk about the hands. Where is the lady? The lady is here. Is I open the shoulders, I change the arms for to be in tango, but the sense, the logical, is the four arms follow the ladies. In the full way, the lady continues to dance backwards around to me. When I dance as a pivot, because it's left rotation, my hands continue to remind to the, to the right but my feet, my center, my spine turn to the left. This is a complicated. The speed can invite us to create a bigger mistake. Quick, 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 quick. She finishes square in front of us and start again the same problem. So can you dance basic steps with the music? And keep the position and with your forearms try to follow the nasty spine in position. Alex. It's again in tango, you see that the couple, how keep the connection and the position in the arms, they dance left rotation, right rotation, but they don't produce the mistake about the left arms, the man is large and too small to the right or opposite. They are in correct proportion like when they start to dance and they finish the choreography, easy choreography or difficult choreography. This is important. It's not visible outside that they change, but in reality, they change a little bit. Of course, that now you see my arms to move too much. I don't want that you dance this evening in practice and you move the arms, no. I want that you connect your forearms in relation with the lady bodies. And if the lady dances backwards around to you, not only your body, but the forearms, invite the lady to finish the movement around to you. If we dance uh, lunge, and I think only egoist man position, so I invite Nastya to go over there, but my left arms, forearms, invite the lady in another one direction. 
It's difficult for the lady which part of Michele I follow, the center, the right arms, or the left arm. So the man invited the lady to dance, and my two knees, my center, my heart, my two arms are in relation to the ladies. So I tried my best to introduce my legs, my center, all part of my body in relation to the lady's spine. My arms, my forearms are parallel to Nastia. If we move backwards and invite Nastia to turn the head, so in this moment we have this little bit flexibility in the elbow. Now, right to land, so my forearms are parallel to the Nastia spine. Of course, that is not big visible, but if the, the, the couple dance tango in good position, it's because in them choreography and movement, they are flexible in the elbow for to follow the lady's spine, and they are flexible in the knees and in the ankles. This is important, especially in the left rotation. That are not natural. To turn to the left, with the person in front of our right side. And the rules is don't turn the shoulders, but to do the step, pivot. My arms is to the right, but I turn to the left. And don't destroy your shoulder slide. So, a little bit choreography. Without music, the movement that you produce in the corner, a prominent over sway, your normal performance, but in slow motion. You arrive in the close position from left pivot. Ta, ta. In this moment, they move and they produce left rotation. But Nastia stays still again in front of him, and the Alex forearms continue to respect the lady's spine. And they change from left to right, but the forearms continue to follow the lady. And to the right is more easy. To the left, they turn inside, but leave the forearms still to follow the lady. So, in slow motion, it's possible to see visible. When they dance in the speedway, Taram, 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 left and right, left, right. It's good. So, this is a, in this way they are in harmony because the man he know what he want to dance, the step left or right. He understand how to stay positive with the spine, on the standing leg, and how to lead the lady only in this place. And my four arms follow the ladies. So. When we talk about the re three resistance, of course that we have three resistance in every, in every dance. In the swing dance, pressure, resistance, moving leg, CBM, and then you slide and you finish your swing. So when we dance tango, we don't produce the swing, but we have a free movement in rotation, on the spot or a little bit in progressive. And I want that the man and the lady control in the personality balance, the three resistance. So, if you are more sure to produce three resistance, standing leg, moving leg, and center, step by step, it's more easy to stay, first of all, in the balance. Second things, you are more speed, and in every ending steps, the man can transmit the feeling for the next step into the ladies. So, if you are not sure your ankles, standing foot, to introduce 
the man body weight before the lady, do the couple dance but are not sure? If I am not sure to use my standing leg, my moving leg, and my center, I invite the lady, I bend the knees, but I don't feel, I start to move, so the movement is not tango quality. You recognize immediately if we dance more speed, steps. So we, we are not in 100% power. If the man invited the lady to dance, and if I invited the lady, it's because I am sure to feel my body weight here 100%. Stand the leg, control the CBM in the center, and control the moving legs. She don't know what I want to dance, but she can follow me. So this is so important. And don't to be free in tango, yes. Small step, free to change the rotation, uh, fully reverse slip pivot, uh, out spin to the right, and then reverse again. But I want that the man control the direction of him, body weight, and the other person. A lot of pressure here, three resistance, four arms, follow the lady. This is important. If you don't produce a sure inside your body about this, sometimes I see the man follow the lady in choreography. No. The man is a double pressure on the floor because he control his body and lay his body during the free choreography movement. One more time. Choreography. Last one information, sorry, Nasser. That is important that in our choreography to understand which rotation we dance. If I dance progressive lean and I dance progressive right rotation, it's a right rotation, how is possible I forget my left arms in the first step? Maybe because I, am, I, I stop to understand or to follow the sense of my choreography. I dance progressive, I turn to the right with all part of my body, the knees, the center, the shoulders, the arms, and then I go in the step in promenade. If we don't understand our rotation, the choreography, sometimes we finish in this way. So, I would like last time in the world's choreography and then tango. And then we are finished.
Thank you so much, Alex and Nasia. So this is important because when you see the, the best couple to dance, you see the perfect shoulder line, perfect elbow, but is, what is important to understand, they move inside the body position. Also the lady is a beautiful lady, big shape, but step by step is not visible, but many parts of the body remain flexible for, to produce a step by step different shape and position. Okay? So thank you so much for your attention. Thank you. Thank you, my friends. So, I hope that every lecture, every group lesson can improve your dancing and your mind. Thank you so much. Thank you, Michele, and thank you, thank you to Alex Nastia and, and Alexei. Thank you.